uh, resubs. So I can maybe use it for YouTube, yeah? So I'm gonna pause the alerts. You can still resubscribe and all that shit, but you're just not gonna see it on screen. And then after we're done, I'm gonna click on the continue, and then all the fucking subs, bits, all the overlay stuff happens in the quick succession. All right. So I haven't, I haven't actually seen any of this yet at all. Uh, first off, this is really fucking cheap. Why is this 51K? That's so cheap. The heck? 51k for a tier 8? Hello? That's insane, right? So 51k, research. Well, you start off with an 85 mil. Oh, it's a 385 mil, that's funny. The 300 HE damage that is. 212, 238, all right. So you need 20k for the gun. 16.6 for the turret, 26 basically for the engine, and 15k for the tracks. Let's see, can you mount this uh, right away? Probably not. Wait, let's take a look. Oh, I should probably buy it first, huh? That, that seems like a good idea. Two and a half mil. we? Before I prefer the small gun, I will have to see. Can you fit it? Okay, so you can fit you can fit the, the, the top gun right away. That's good news. That's good news. Is there a large difference between these two? 20 more fuel range? 350 fuel range. Oof. Is there a large difference between this? That's uh, fairly large, right? Also less fire. Uh, first speed of 30, 27. Hmm. So you can fit the turret and the gun without a, a, the chassis. Okay. Can you fit the engine without it? Yes. Okay. So you can literally skip the tracks. If you want to skip the XP. Interesting. Interesting. Usually you need the tracks to mount top guns and stuff. Okay, what do we get? Stock base memes, all right? We get a 100 mil, not a 122 mil. Uh, it looks cool. I actually quite like how it looks. It's like a chunky IS. I like it. Looks cool. Uh, what do we got? 16.3 second reload. Ooh. Self of preparation, two or four seconds. That's uh, a lot shorter than this boy, isn't it? Three and four. Okay, not that much shorter, I guess. 1500 health, seven degrees of gun depression. Seven degrees of gun depression. That's not bad. The turret, how much is the turret? So 235. So the turret looks pretty good, unless this is a pretty big weak spot, which we cannot really tell right now. But with seven degrees, this turret looks pretty gnarly actually, because it's rounded and doesn't have like huge cupolas. But it all depends a little bit as well if this is a weak spot, which it very likely will be, but who knows the Russian. Uh, 2.4 aim time, that's decent for a heavy actually. It's actually really good for a heavy. It's 36 dispersion is okay for a heavy. So hull armor is only 110, that is pretty poor. Now it is well angled and it doesn't have a pike nose. So we might be able to still get away with it a little bit. Lower plate is probably weak as hell. 90 sight. And it doesn't have spaced armor on the side as far as I can tell. It also has this weird thing where like the hull goes into making room for the turret, so this might also be a bit weak when you're side scraping. I'll we'll have to see. 2200 base DPM. 34 tough speeds. Meh. Meh. That's a bit slow, boys. 350 fuel range, of course. Okay, let's deck it out. I'm not I could use like bond equipment and whatnot, but like I'm not gonna do that because that's not how I'm gonna play it, right? 
Uh, no gun rambers, right? And these things. So probably just want ventilation. So check what I have on my other double barrel. Yeah, same uh, same setup. Uh, we are gonna run a larger bracket and probably foods. So I'm gonna compare it to the uh, other double barrel beamer. So 221 base pin, 256 APCR pin. So it's not test server, so it doesn't really matter too much. Something like this, I guess. Boom. It's the HE kind of memes, let's see. 50, no, not really. For only 60 more alpha per shot. It's not really worth it. Not really worth it. I'm gonna just do this the same way I did the, the premium. Uh, let's see, crew? Well, I can use this crew, right? Is that the same crew layout? Yeah, so double loader. Okay. Same crew layout. That's very good. I think I was using my KV3 crew, if I'm not mistaken. I love how I have camo in this. <laughs> Good camouflage, duh. Also, Fury skills are scuffed as hell here. Why? Why? I'll retrain this guy. I'll retrain the whole shebang. And this guy should really be retrained because we want both Furian skills because the Furian is very low on this. It's only 350 base, so. Six cents, situation awareness, recon, repairs. And we want pretty much just firefighting and then camo, I guess. I don't think we have a spot. There we go. That's better. Now we have 444 fuel range with the ventilation and optics and a good crew with BIA and both fuel range skills. So that is almost full fuel range. For 445 is what you want, but that's the, that's decent. Let's uh, throw some camo in there. I'm just going to go with a preset style to make my life easy. Boom. Okay, now first, before I start playing, I kind of want to compare these, right? Because everybody's going to compare these. Uh, also, before we do this, my guess is, is that the premium tank is the best tank, double barrel tank, tier for tier, out of all of the tech tree tanks. That's my guess. I, I, I legit, like, I haven't seen the numbers. I think the double barrel premium is probably better tier for tier than any of the tech tree tanks. Just by guessing. Just go, just guessing here. Because, and my main reason for this is, is because I already see this thing has less hull armor. I'm willing to bet that the tier eight is basically a tier eight and a half slash nine at tier eight. That's my predictions. Let's go. So we have to configure this guy to have all the perks again, because I took it away and put it in the other tank. Boom. Okay, so what do we have here? Same pen, 90 less alpha. Uh, self of preparation, two, so it's one better. Wowee. Funnily enough, the second one is four. So if you shoot both, you're just as screwed in both, which is a bit, oh, this should have been three then, right? Gun is a lot faster. The seven degrees of gun depression, I will say, is very, very nice. The aim time is super sick, actually, compared to the 703. 2.2 .2 is really nice, though. Oof. Dispersion is really nice. And it has 300 more DPM. Wow, it's actually looking pretty good. Wow. Looking pretty good. So we have less... Way less hull armor. And this hull armor is sick. For those who haven't seen this thing up close yet, look at this frontal armor. It's actually perfect. There's no pike nose, no bullshit. It's just highly angled. Even the lower plate is super angled. 
this hull is the sickest hull at tier 8, I'm pretty sure. Like, this is incredibly good. Incredibly good, okay? <laughs> like, it makes no sense how good it is. So, the IS-2 2 seems more of like, almost doesn't seem as brawly as the other one. Because he, he, it's more of like a hull down tank more than anything. But this thing, you can really brawl. Like, you can do, you can get away with so much stuff by face-hugging them. Okay, let's see. Mobility-wise, uh, a lot better power to weight, actually. But less top speed by 4 kilometers, which on a base of 34 is actually pretty significant. Traverse speed is a, a lot better there, and then the fuel range is exactly the same, which means it isn't very good unless you have a really good crew, then it's like almost good enough a little bit. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. The gun characteristics really surprised me, actually. It looks pretty good from just looking at the stats. Okay, um, shall I just do all the tech trees first? And then play some games? Or shall, no, you know what, I'll just play a game and that'll be a video, right? Boom. Play one or two games and then we can hop over to tier nine. That seems like a good idea. So it is test server, so there's gonna be gold ammo everywhere. So the armor is gonna be probably less good than it is on the real server because test server. So is that also a reason why I don't really like playing in the test server too much, and I'm not gonna play for too long in the test server, but I do want to get some first impressions going. Uh, once again, guys, uh, we're doing this live, and the sub alerts are on pause. So it doesn't interrupt the video and all that. So, But after all of this, once we go to the live server, I'll turn it back on and then all the all the notifications will pop up. So don't worry. This is a really good map for us, but test server, there's a million of these. <laughs> uh, if, if one thing I can say already, just by looking at the stats, I, I wish it wasn't slower than the premium. I wish it had the 38, maybe even 40. Like, I, I'm already a little bit worried. Why the ELC? Yeah, good question. Why are people doing the ELC in IT? Maybe they, oh, you know what it is? They watched the video I, I uploaded with this, and then Jingles used as well later on. They watched that video, and now they're all like, Oh, ELC even 90? Oh, that's pretty good! Holy bejesus, this is loud. Fucking hell. Couldn't hear myself think. Oh, also... Oh, this is gonna be scuffed. Oh, I need to... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Call a blind. We have to probably turn off the server reticle, even though the server is... A bit laggy. So how much condition was it again? Seven or eight? It's pretty good. Look at this, they all shot and now they're all out of ammo. <laughs> shot was worst. Uh, I'm missing the keybinds for shooting both. Where is that again? I like adding that to a different button instead of the holding the left click, personally. Boom! Boom a shakalaka! That's something uh, I've noticed while playing the regular double barrel, or the regular, I shouldn't say the regular, because this is the regular. While playing the premium, it's because of the double shots, you often get like, some crazy critical hits. Oh, pretty crazy critical hits. The you'll see it's a shooting. I'm kinda wondering. Does he know? I 
That's pretty good. He doesn't... Oh, he did have a second shot. Uh-oh. Then we low rolled. Bye-bye, chat. Revenge. Revenge is mine. Let's see if I can get away. I don't think I can. Ugh. Okay, yes. Ah! Hey, that was pretty funky already. Is Dead Eye twice as effective with double shot? Well, it, the, dub, the Dead Eye applies to both shots, but because you hit... You, you tend to hit the same... Like, if you hit the ammo rack, right? If you do the double, double barrel shot, you obviously hit him... You like, twice at the same time. Like, you hit him twice. You don't tend to hit only one in the ammo rack and one next to the ammo rack. You tend to hit both. So you tend to get a bit more critical, like, fires and ammo racks because of the, the double to do you know? It's the same as just getting shot twice, but because it's the double barrel, you tend to just have more of it. Ah, it's a test server, guys. Everybody shoots gold. That's uh, it's just, the way to, just the way the cookie crumbles. It's, it's, it's always been like this. It's really funny how there's so many ELC even 90s. But um, I like I, I like how this looks. I kind of wish it was faster. Like I don't understand why the other one has um, better top speed. But uh, it, it does feel a bit more maneuverable because of the better power to weight. That was definitely noticeable. Yeah, look at the server, by the way. Our ping is pretty good, but we're getting red signals, so it's a, it's a laggy time. And I legit like how this looks. It's a, it's a cool frame. I, and like out of the tech tree, a hundred percent of the time, it's gonna be the tier nine. It's gonna be the best one, right? Just because of matchmaking and whatnot. But I, I still think that the premium. I haven't even seen the sense of the tier nine and ten. Just by raw instincts of playing this game for like seven, eight years, I think the premium is probably just gonna be the best one tier for tier still. So. <laughs> but the tier nine is gonna be like pretty sick. Because it's tier 9, so. Okay, I'm gonna do uh, one more game at least. And then we're gonna jump into the tier 9. It's a little bit awkward with this tank. Like, I get that you get the gun depression, but honestly, it would have been better if it still had 5 degrees and just better upper hull. That would have been better for this tank, I think. But Also, I kind of want to check just for a quick meme. What is the DPM on the 85 mil? Oh, it's less. It looks so funky though. Ah, oh, why couldn't they start at tier 7? I would have loved the tier 7 with double 85 mils. On like a relatively quick... On a relatively quick heavy, double 85 mils at tier 7? That would have been pretty funky, I think. It, it looks very cool, I like it. I kind of wish they started at lower tiers already. Tier 8, like, yeah. A tier 7 would have been really nice, I think. Okay, let's play the next one. Yeah, like a tier... A tier imagine a... Imagine a tier 5 with the, the small gun. Like the needle gun of the KV-1. But two of them. Firing like... Two, 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 two. <laughs> that would have been cool as hell. It's like 60 damage, 60 damage, 60 damage. <laughs> That would have been cool as hell. Like, don't give him the double shots. Give him, like, the boop, 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 boop. That would have been cool. <laughs> 
at least we're getting full to right matchmaking, which is nice. Usually in the test server, uh, back in the day, you would just always just fight tier 10s all day. In uh, tier 8. <clears throat> Is it only ever going to be Russia with a two-barrel memes? I mean, what do you think? I think the odds are against you if you say that. Like, if someone claims that, oh yeah, Russia will be the only double-barrel tech tree. I mean, it's either the the next infinite amount of time. Do you think in the next 10 years of World of Tanks there will be another double-barrel tank that isn't Russian? The, the odds are very likely, right? I am actually going to snipe for a sec and not die so early this time. Yeah, I want four barrels. I you know I want the AA guns with four barrels. That's what I want. Just because. I don't think this is gonna be that bad of a tank. Like I think this tank is actually gonna be fairly decent. Also, it gets the, the cannon sound, which is cool. Oh my god. The AP was a bit potato. Very slow. Very slow shell. Oh, how fast is it reload the other one? It's about 8 seconds, huh? It's not bad. Not bad at all. Whoop! Apparently hit him there. He almost uh, he almost neoed it. So these are 300. So that was pretty decent. 615, slightly above average. Scorpion is making life very very awkward. Let's see. In before, this is going to be one of those games where we're sitting there. <laughs> this is quite the brawl, though. Look at the look at the beating map. It's actually insane. Actually insane. Do I jump in there or not? That's the freaking question, right? I guess we do. Let's just join the brawl. It's the test server after all. Surprised the deck painter too is so in the land of the living, if I'm honest. This is going to be a pretty fun thing. It's initial impressions. The double barrel thing is just fun. Even with the 100 mils. Let's test the third arm alone. Oh, now he only needs one. <laughs> I'm being pushed around by my teammates. Now the teammate is dead. Can confirm it's a weak spot, lol. Hurt dur, I'm gonna shoot twice. Hurt dur. Look at this, man. That's funny. Ooh. Go, 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 go! Actual weak spot, yeah, so this is definitely a weak spot, because this AP is... 
Let's see, 221, but I think even without the 221 pen. Like, I'm going to go ahead and guess you need about 200 to get through that. If I was, uh, I was, if I had to bet, that, that would be it. Yes, show me the lower, lower, lower plate. Thank you. It's kind of funny because the the gun sounds like such a low caliber. When I when I'm listening to this guy, hit one. <laughs> Got one of them. Yeah, if your gun is damaged, uh, like mine was, then uh, both barrels are. There's no, like, separation there. Which would have been funky, but... Oh, I hit the turret. A little bit lower I would have pinned him, probably. I got a pressure is really nice, of course, like, having, like, eight or so. But from short distances, this, th this tank is really not that much of a brawler. Cause you're you're kind of lacking that that 122 millimeter punch, you know. It really feels more like a heavy, you know. Like you're probably gonna take this where mediums go. And at short ranges, that dirt is not going to do you any favors. Like, that weak spot is fairly easy to hit. I'm glad it has that weak spot, though. Don't get me wrong. But it's it's definitely nowhere near as armored as the premium. Or as brawly as the supreme. <clears throat> yeah, it is a pretty long tank. Also, the turret is very long. It's all to accommodate uh, the barrels and whatnot, right? On the inside. It's funny how the, because it's a hundred mil, it's funny to hear the gun sounds of a hundred mil. <laughs> it's just like pew. All right, so initial impressions, I think it's gonna be pretty good at, ha well, pretty decent. I think you're gonna actually, even though you don't have really good top speed, your power to weight is decent enough. I actually kind of feel like you kind of go to more medium uh, tank places with this one. Um, and this is definitely a weak spot. So also this means if you're peeking on the on this side, right? If you're looking this way, then you probably don't really have a weak spot. Although this might still be one. We'll have to see. I really wish World Tanks would add a in-game armor inspector by now, like to have a World of Warships and whatnot. But initial impressions, I think it's gonna be a, a, a perfectly fine tank. And I don't think this is like OP or anything. I think this just fits in fairly well. Um I'm a little bit surprised, because I was thinking, if they're going to make this kind of like the premium, this should be like 5 degrees of gun depression, 38 top speed, and then um, an actual good hull armor, right? So, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. First impressions, there you go, boys. Let's uh, take a look at the tier 9 now, shall we? So, research-wise, you need 165k.4. For the IS-3-2... Ooh, another IS-3, huh? Very good. Let's purchase it. Add the crew. It's 3.6. Same price as in the other tier 9, of course. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the guns. So this is the weird gun. Then this is the main gun. So you go from this to maybe this to then this. Take a look. So you start with a hundred mil, then you get a one twenty two maybe, and then you get the other one twenty two mil. It's still three ninety alpha. It doesn't go up. Actually, the middle gun looks like an absolute trap. Actually, this gun looks like a trap. Six seconds between a shot and switching the loaded guns. 
and a free second in between. You don't actually get that much more pen, and your heat or APCR actually gets worse. The dispersion, aim time. Yeah, that looks like a bit of a trap, boys, because that's like f almost 50k XP. Like, why would you? Why would you get that? Like you need, you need like what 70, 90. So instead of spending it on this, you're probably way better off just going full YOLO towards this one. Getting the turret right away. See that. See if the top gun fits like the turret. Oh yeah, so you need load. You need the loads. So you're gonna get the tracks and then the gun. Probably. Let's take a look at the difference here between the engines. It's 80 more. Yeah, so if you're not using any free XP, I would highly recommend just skipping this because that's half your XP needed to get both of these. So you want to get, let's see, the turret is 280, 230. Yeah, I would probably go like turret first, then tracks, then gun, then engine, and then the radio. And you, you, you're not going to get, just don't ever get this one. And only get it after you've gotten the tier 10, because then you can farm uh, free XP with it. Right? That's the way to do it. This is an absolute trap. I, would, I wouldn't take that gun. So then you get this, this bad boy. 243 and 292. 68 pen, 390, 390, 530. 0 0.4 dispersion, 3 second aim time, 5 seconds between shooting, 2.5. After shooting one of them. And 10.5 reloads. Okay, let's take a look. Holy, this is a beefy boy. This is a limo scene, huh? This is a very, 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 very... You can clearly see it's a lot longer than a regular IS-3. I feel like a regular IS-3 ends about here. <laughs> this is a long boy. This is a long... It's not even that thick. It's very long, though. Look at the turret, it's almost insanity how big the turret is. <clears throat> Alright, let me put all the bells and whistles on it. So, you're probably always just going to use this same exact setup, right? You're always going to go coded optics, you're always going to go vert saps and vents, probably. I guess I should take a look at the base spotting. So, you actually get 30 more fuel range from going one tier higher, which is huge, because then you have 380, which makes your fuel range hassle a lot less of a hassle. So, I'm going to get the same crew and just retrain them. Let's see. So, exact same crew layout again. I'm guessing the tier 10 will be the same. That's very good. No weird crew layouts. It's the same as the premium. Very good. Very good, very good. I have too much crew, man. Where is that last guy? There he is. Then we're gonna go with larger packets, small first aid, and probably food. So, oh, and it gets APCR as a secondary. Oh, I love that. I'm big fan. Big fan. Carries a whole lot of ammo. Holy. 390, right. How much damage with 74 shells times 390. You can do um, you can do close to 29,000 damage with this on average if you hit every single shot. That's an insane amount of shots. <laughs> oh my god, this is a this is a this is a lot of shells. That's good though. I like having an overabundance of shells, because then you don't feel bad for blind shooting and stuff. But that is, uh, you can actually afford to get the HE, even though it's not that, not super good, but with this much ammo, why the heck not, right? I, I like that. I like having an overabundance of ammo. That's very nice. Also, I did run this on the previous thing, so I'm going to do the same here. I'm just going to get a preset style again. Let's go with the Ranger this time. Why not? Check the gun sets with different turrets. You can't, because it's incompatible. 
And like I said, I, I, I don't go for this gun. So if you're going to research this and you're going to grind through it, get turret first, then tracks, then gun, then engine, then radio. And never get the gun until it's until you already have the tier 10 researched. So now we actually have really good fuel range, 482 instead of 444 from the tier 8. It's a huge jump in fuel range going to 380. Even the stock is 380. That's huge. I don't get why they made the tier 8 so blind to tech tree 1. I actually don't know why they made it so blind, considering that thing has to fight at mid to long ranges, I think, actually. Okay. What do we got now? 2500 DPM, so we only go up by like 100. Eight, de Ooh, 8 degrees of gun depression again on the 390 Alpha gun. Hello, hello. Good morning. That is very nice. That is unexpected. 8 degrees of gun depression on this. Ooh. So it seems like this is probably a weak spot again, but it's a little bit more tucked away than the, than the tier 8. And the... Uh, let's see, 280 turret armor. Oof. So this is the one thing that is annoying about this thing, though. It has 145 hull armor, which is good. But because it's an IS-3, it is pike nose. And I'm never that big on pike nose. I'm never that big on pike nose tanks, personally. Because it means that if you angle, you are screwing yourself over. If you don't angle, you just have your base defense hull armor, which is not 145 because of the angle, it's more. But that's pretty annoying. I Again, I would love to have an in-game inspector to see how good this is. Because I'm guessing versus tier 9s, you're going to get blown the fuck up in your in your hull. Lower plate's probably weak as well. But that 80 gives a gun depression with that much turret armor with a double barrel, that is pretty nasty, right? Then 8 is pretty damn comfortable. Uh, let's see, engine power 14. So this goes 38. This is as fast as the tech tree, as the, sorry, the um, premium. 35 traverse. Weight to load, power to weight is 14. It's okay for heavy. 1800 of health, 90 sight still. And it has... I'm pretty sure it has spaced, the IS-3 space armor thing going on. Judging by these welds here. I think it has, I think this is like space here, just like an IS-3. So that's pretty, that can be very troll. Uh, 60 rear, turret is 150 side, and it's a little bit curved, but that's probably pretty weak and it's a huge turret, so you gotta be careful not getting shot in the back. I'm willing to bet that the armor kind of ends here after this stub, and then this is weak, or at the very least, like this part. But it's looking, it's looking pretty good. I know it's tier 9 as well, so matchmaking is pretty sweet. Okay, let's play a game. It's looking pretty good. I like the fuel range increase, 8 degrees of gun depression, 390 alpha. Turret armor looks pretty sick. Let's play a couple games. And it still has APCR, which I personally am a big fan of. I like that more than heat. Even though at longer ranges you kind of want heat. I, I like having APCR because it's it screws over so many more tanks and you can shoot through things, which is a lot better, I think. It's a very long boy. It's a super long tank. I wouldn't be surprised if people are going to get tracked a lot in this. Like in the rear tracks when they're like, oh, I'm safe here because my knowledge of the map. And then they're like, oh, wait, there's still like a, an eighth of a tank left with my rear <laughs> rear wheel. <laughs> Reverse side scraping. I mean, you can try. It's a lot. It's a very long ice tree. Yeah, I know the frontal upper is better than I3. It's a tier higher. Makes sense. I'm just saying it might not be good enough to really brawl. And personally, like I said, I don't really like pike noses. I'm not. I'm not that big on the pike nose. Like I said, the premium. The premium has the sickest hull.
Wow, this is cute time. Hello, boys. There we go. We just had the yellow at the matchmaking. Is it longer than talk two? It might be. <laughs> See, a lot of these, a lot of those. Is that what, why have, dude, why do people play artillery on? Why do people? I don't get some of these people personally. It's like, oh, the patch 1.7 patches out. Big news, double barrel tanks. Let's go to the test server and play my GW 100. <laughs> like, why? Bleh. Oh, 9.2 reload for 390 is pretty nice, huh? It's pretty these. I don't, like, it's Friday night. The test server is here. I can't wait to play the artillery piece. <laughs> like, why? Why are you doing this to yourself? Also, whilst playing these things, I highly recommend, especially if you have a, a, a mouse with extra buttons on it, to put the double barrel shot on a different key than your left key. If you're... Because the base is just holding down your left mouse button, right? That's the base. I highly recommend doing something else with it. Like a different keybind. I really appreciate this. This is really nice. Like, we're still hold down here, so I want them to get unspotted, so I can actually go here without getting shot, you know? The artillery piece probably heard me, right? <laughs> it is pretty fast, yeah. It is pretty fast. Like, it reaches the 38 kilometers fairly reliably on, on normal grounds. This is, this is gonna be a shit show, let me tell you. It's gonna be too many people. Too many people on the dance floor. This is what I mean, I'm gonna get... This is kind of get really annoying. <laughs> oh, this is why I don't like playing in the test server, boys. This is just... This is not the life. Especially when it's a test server for heavy tanks, because this happens all the time. Where there's just too many people going to the same flank, playing the same way, being in the way of each other. Is this? Got him. Oh, big boy. Ah, oh, only one hit. I'm so disappointed. One hit, I guess. <laughs> it happens a lot with the double barrel where you're just like, oh, I'll just shoot both. One of them is probably going to pin. <laughs> That's how it usually goes. This is awkward. We're losing behind. We're losing this as well. Well, that's all she wrote. 
That is it. Slap, slap, my good friend artillery. Cracked him at least. Face up, cool. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. 848 from the ST2. Holy shit. I'm guessing that gets a higher alpha than 390. Alright, let's watch this one and I'll play at least one more game. Interesting, uh, interesting rock there. Also, oh, I like this guy. He's going for artillery, I think. Also, there's almost no Europeans ever playing on the test server. There's one. It's me and him. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh! At least you have the gun depression now. What's my double shot button binds? So I have, I have it here. I have an extra button. I have two buttons there, you see? It's on the front one. Like, I would highly recommend just putting it on a different button, even if you don't have uh, a mouse with extra buttons. Put it on a different keybind, because it's really awkward to have it on only the left mouse button when you hold it in. It's really awkward. Didn't even fire both. Boring. Look at this chunky boy, man. Oh, you screwed it up. It's gonna bounce. He's looking for an angle, you can find it. <laughs> They're looking for weak spots. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. I think the ice too bounced? Very awkward game. Oh, his turret is screwed? <laughs> oh my god, that was awkward. Oh my lord. That was a very awkward fight, I'm not gonna lie. another one you get confused this is a tier 9 yeah because you're so your mind is so on the fact that the ice tree is tier 8 right I'm, I'm, I'm the same where's the double barrel setting I'll show you in game I don't think I can oh I can do it here actually so you go to controls then you scroll down a little bit and then it's this one fire a salvo Fire a salvo. I wonder why his Q tabs are so long though. Uh... 
<sighs> How much XP is needed for the tier 8? Only 51.8, I think. Like 52k, basically. It's very little. I don't know why it's so little, but it is. There we go, no artillery. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. So we do have a gun version, we could go middle actually. We could just go middle. Yeah, uh, this line starts at the KV3. So the KV3 goes towards the double barrel. And you, you need very little XP. I grinded 80k, you only need 52. So. I kind of want to do a size comparison next to the 430U because it's also a pretty tall, like a pretty long boy for a medium. Thank the Lord. And they fire us off. It's actually very good on the test server because on the test server there was a whole lot of team killing going on. Even though you could get repercussions on your actual account on the live server, people still did it a lot. <laughs> Just 1800s, okay. I'm curious if there's no one on that lane. There's really no one. Off with the head. That was a juicy, and I'm racking a 440 U. That's a uh, oof. That's a uh, that's extra spicy. I think this Jack Panzer is actually coming this way. Really curious where this Jack Panzer is ending up. Where could he be? It's not like he can easily run away. Oh, there he is. He's gonna look towards that guy, maybe. Warning! Ah, low rolls. Low rolls! Sadness. I'm gonna shoot him one more time with a singular shot. Just because we can. Might be tempted to do one more shot, so he's a two shots for a double barrel shot later. That makes sense, right? That makes sense. Oh no. I can overmatch you. Just kidding. <laughs> Psych! I can't. <laughs> I think I hit the one bar of extra armor that it has somewhere. Hello? How about you don't? <laughs> Alright, good trades, good trades, Mr. D30. Very good, very good. The double barrel slapperinos. I'm a little bit worried with the S tank to my right. I can't really be aggressive even though I wanted to. And no one is proxy spotting, unfortunately. It's a problem. 
on this thing moved away. Oh, this is awkward. I'm just gonna move a bit more to the middle because the T fairy just hold downs. There's not much I can do reliably. <clears throat> I think it's almost dead, that's good. There you are, I was wondering. Oh, I'm actually dead now. Come on, you could easily reload. My turret is stuck. Uh oh. Fix the turret, Ivan! Try rotating the turret slowly. It should be working now. I'm actually not gonna go for the lower plate, because it's gonna troll me. The safe route. Now, Death Conway! Mr. Basecamp. Let's talk about it. I think he's getting shot to shit already. Yep. No luck. <laughs> that would have been really sick. Leo. Oh! Oh, that's still a pretty funky fight. I I like it. I think this is gonna be pretty strong. Tier nine, tier nine serum was always strong, but uh, this one's looking good. It's looking good. I'm almost surprised that it doesn't have more alpha than three ninety, but uh, yeah, the gun the eight degrees of gun depression is really nice. Very nice. Good. All right, let's go to the tier ten, shall we? But uh, yeah, I do. I do like the tier nine. It's a cool thing. Just don't get this gun. That's still uh, the, the real advice. So we need two hundred and seventeen k to get to the SD two. Let's get it. Oh. Wait, actually, we should get the crew first, though. Get out of there. Tier 10. There it is. Here we go. It literally looks like an ST1 with a double barrel turret. To, to no one's surprise. It's always funny how these barrels are, like, tilted. Otherwise, they don't fit next to each other. Let's see. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, no. Wrong thing. That's the one we need. Street two, boom. Let's get the camo. Retain the crew, which is still the same, which is nice. No funky crew shenanigans going on. Good at optics. The ventilation. Oh shit, this thing gets heat. 310 heat. It gets less shells. 40 shells only. I say only, but the other one gets 71 of those bad boys. Let's 
see. Then we're going to get the firefighter memers. And that's about it. Okay, so what do we have? We, okay, we finally went to 440 instead of 390, which means you have an 880 alpha gun, which is the highest AP alpha in the game on a heavy, because the other ones are all 750. 258, 310, 68, 4 dispersion, 3 second aiming time. Okay. The DPM doesn't actually go up much. 2500 hit points, 150 hull. But I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this hull is almost literally the SD1. Sort of. 140 side, we suddenly get a fuckload of side armor. 300 turret armor, where this is the weak spot. Obviously. I don't know how weak the weak spot is, though. 160 side, 160 rear. Okay. 40 top speed, so we're a little bit faster, but we have less power to wait, because the other one had, like, 13. How much is the base spot? 390 goes up by 10. Okay, let me just add this to comparison, boys. Uh, let's compare... Let's compare the tier, eight, tier 9 to the tier 10. This one to DSD2. Boom. Make sure this is all the same. Is this all the same? Boom. All right. <clears throat> Tear down at 10. Let's see. Gun traverse speed is. A whole lot slower. They both have eight degrees of gun depression, same dispersion. This is this is the one thing that's really is really weird to me. The DPM doesn't go up at all, going from tier nine to ten. That's really weird. Mm, Seven hundred more health. I think the hull is probably better than the pike. I'm gonna guess. Side armor buff is nice. So you have more engine power, but you're heavier. So you actually lose a quite significant amount of horsepower, or um, horsepower per ton. But you do go faster in the end, but only two. Traverse is slower, and then fuel range is 10 higher, which equates to 12th after the buffs of the crew. Actually, it doesn't look that much better than the tier 9 at all. Considering tier 10 matchmaking, why, why would you play this over the tier 9? Like, considering how bad tier 10 matchmaking is, it's really bad. It's one of the worst worst tiers to play right now, in my uh, humble opinion. Okay. The tier 8 really doesn't look that bad now, huh? Take a look at the regular tier 8. Oh. It's the wrong overpower tier 8, sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's just so so crazy that this thing has a hundred this thing has the best hull tier for tier. Okay, let's just play the tier uh the tier ten and then for like two games and then we're gonna do some work of everything. Tier ten suka. Let's go. Yeah, the sub alerts and all that stuff is off until we're done with the server. So I can put it up on YouTube without having seven million sub alerts going off. Someone actually playing the tier 10 chieftain on the test server. Okay. Okay. Why don't I actually go H1 for once? I think I will actually. Will I? Will I?
since no one else really is. <laughs> I guess we're going this way. It only feels more sluggish than the tier 9. Because I'm not reaching the, those top speeds at all. I just went barely over 30. The power to weight is a big deal. Of being two less than the tier 9. But, you know, it's with most, most tech trees. I always feel like the tier 9 is way better balanced than the tier 10s, both positively and like with negative things. The tier 9s almost always have more. Oof! Aw, oh, we low rolled! Dude, these things are 440 now. Boo. Boo, we low rolled, boo. Bent by an EBR. Oh, sorry, it was heat. Never mind. I shot him though. He's not so brave now. I don't think he expected to get shot there. Funnily enough. Ah! I know I was spotted, but I wanted to see if I can get him. Yeah, let's kill this silly chieftain playing a test server with a chieftain. 279E. <laughs> Why are people doing this? Ugh. I'm so glad I don't play tier 10 in current World of Tanks. My god. Flush side shot of a Chiefs and Turrets. Eh, it bounce. I'm so glad I don't play tier 10. This gives me a nice little insight into uh, tier 10, even though it's at this server. Look like I saw him there. It's, uh, it was weird. It definitely feels a lot slower than tier 9. I keep thinking, like, and fair person, I keep thinking this bush is the tank. What's the HE in this then? 530. That's pretty spicy. Bad the HE pen is not that high. I knew I was gonna get penned there, but I don't want to be left behind to not do anything. Man, this thing is sluggish. It kind of feels the, the like the maneuverability of an Ice 4. Gotcha. Which uh, cannot be a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Man, the laurels. I can roll 880 on average. Sad Panda. Twelfth. 
Nice. Bye bye. I shot all of our AP. <laughs> hey, that's funny. 880 in one bounce, so it counts as one shot then. This should be two bounces for 440. That's interesting. Can you fire both barrels in the first person? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Resting as a single hit, that's weird to me. It should be 440 twice. Get clipped by an artillery vicious is one number as well. Really? I seem to remember getting hit by like a Skoda and would it would definitely be separate. But just just judging from the uh, from the literally the first literal couple of games, I I think the tier nine is by far better than the tier ten. Tier for tier. Also, it, it might also have to do with the fact that I think tier 10 is in a really bad spot in general, so playing it would not be... would not be my favorite. But I, I just think the maneuverability of tier 9 is, is big. But yeah, you can fur person this, see? There's also a meme where if you shoot it behind you, it kind of works like GTA and you get a slight speed bump, but it's never worth doing. But it is funny that they put it in the game. I respect that. I'm gonna go any further because I'm on my own, so RIP me, I guess. Can I hide behind this rock? And be somewhat safe? There we go. Finally above 900, dude. I think he just shot blind in the wild direction. <laughs> what the hell? That's some good placement by ST2 there. That's really good. I only tracked him, I feel bad. He 
just fucking pinned me there, bro. Come on. I'm dead. Oh, I'm so glad I don't play tier 10 anymore. Oof. Oof. But yeah, judging by playing every tank twice, I think the tier 9 is by far the best one to play. Like, by a mile. Because you get the speed while still getting the 8 degrees of gun depression and 390 alpha on both barrels. I think the tier 8 is pretty decent as well, but it's it's definitely not like OP OP or anything. I think the tier 8 is fairly well balanced. And the tier 9 is just very good for a tier 9. And I am very glad that I don't play tier 10 currently. Until something changes in that tier. And overall, tier for tier, including the premium. The premium and the tier 9 are by far the best. And it's funny because none of these play like the premium. The premium is an absolute brawling machine. Where you don't have gun depression. While you have 5. And your upper plate is as good as it can be. With no pike nose. Like this is really freaking good, right? So... For bra it, this plays differently than these because of the gun depression and the less basically less hull armor for gun depression, so they play differently. Because for example, on glacier where we can actually use the middle, you couldn't do that with this tank, so it plays completely differently than the premium. So I think people that bought the premium thinking that the whole tech tree is going to be like that, they're going to be disappointed for sure. And the premium tier for tier is probably still the best. Like, let's be real. But matchmaking-wise, the tier 9 wins it there, right? But I think the tier 9 is solid, the tier 10 is underpowered, and the tier 8 is well-balanced, and the premium is OP. That's my judgment. There you go. I, I think the tier 10 is really underwhelming. I wouldn't be surprised if it gets buffed, because it's Russian. I would not be surprised. But yeah, there you go. Quick preview. I'm actually gonna go to the live servers now because I don't I like I don't like enjoy playing on the test servers all that much. But I I really want to see this because it was the whole new mechanic, right? So I want to check out the new stuff.